February 8th, 2020 is a day the Sakaki Burras will never forget. Sayer's brother Kai suffered a freak accident that had life changing consequences and the impact was felt throughout the entire BMX community. Sayer speaks openly about how this accident impacted her and her family for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Say, uh, February 8th, 2020 was a really difficult day for your family. Your brother Kai was competing at the World Cup and had a, a really horrific accident. Mm -hmm. Are you able to talk us through what you remember of that day? Yeah, so that day was, I think from the moment we woke up, it was just, just chaotic because it was uh, the first World Cup that's ever been in Bathurst and the week before that we had the first World Cup that's been in Australia for like eight years or something so that was in Shepparton and uh, when we came into that event it was raining it was windy as and with BMX when it's that kind of conditions is quite dangerous and sometimes it can get cancelled and sometimes it can get postponed or change course in a way that we would maybe not be racing off like the eight meter where we normally do and eight meter start hill and then now we're racing on the five meter start hill so there was a lot of unknowns coming into that event and we were all just on edge we didn't really know what was happening but racing did go ahead and the conditions were obviously really really bad Kai and I both had this dream of going to the Olympics together as brother and sister and I was in a pretty strong position at that point but for Kai he was battling against two tough guys and um, it was going to be quite tight for his selection and because the event before he wasn't able to put in like the best uh, best result that he could have a lot of pressure was riding on this weekend so even though the conditions are really bad, Kai was so focused on just going out there and winning no matter what. And even if it's the crazy conditions, even though there was someone in front of him, he was like, I'm going to win. So I think with that kind of mindset, he started like rushing things because he was like behind in that, in that race. And yeah, ultimately, ultimately he just made an error which caused him to crash. His crash was so severe. He had a very big hit in his brain. So he had a very big head injury. The next morning I got a call from my parents saying, uh, Kai's gonna go into surgery. I think you should come down to Canberra now because we just don't know what's gonna happen really. So that was when it kind of all sunk in that this is actually really serious. He's in a coma. He's had this surgery and my parents had to sign this document to say you know whatever happens is gonna happen you know um, yeah so it was a very very scary time when I arrived in in Canberra and um, it was really scary just to see him in that hospital bed the only sign that he was alive was you know the breathing of the chest but that was all with the machine those nights at the dinner table with, I'm sure mm. it was just yourself and, and your mum and dad. What was it just like as a family, just navigating through like yeah. the most awful time in your life? I have to, I have to definitely give so much credit to my parents because obviously I don't know what it felt like or, or what it feels like to have a child or seeing a child go through a traumatic you know, injury and their their process of recovery or their journey to recover. But yeah, like my mum, she was just the rock of the family. I don't, she just stepped up and she just had this, you know, neutral face. Um, and she knew from day one, she was like, it's not over, it's not over for him. And those words literally stuck by me for the for the whole time because we're speaking on behalf of Kai you know so we don't also want to be you know saying things that he wouldn't want to say and things like that so it was really awesome that he w my dad was able to take on that role. To focus on the Olympics I moved away to the Gold Coast while his, his rehab is based in Sydney so I didn't get to see him every day like I, I normally did and 
sometimes it will be like months apart that I and that I see him but I notice that every time I hear him on the phone his speech and his cognitive ability has come back like so much better than what I had been heard before he's trying so hard in his rehab he's pushing himself to do more walking around the block at how at, at our house and what has made such a big difference for me uh, lately is how how excited and how supportive he's, he is of me um, going to the Olympics and the way he supports me every day and it has made such a huge impact on the way I approach training and the way I how I feel about the Olympics because you know if he was down and kind of angry that I'm going instead of him, I would feel so negative towards the Olympics that I wouldn't want to go in a way. But because he's just so exciting, uh, so excited for me, he's backing me all the way, that just gives me so much more energy to want to do well for the both of us. And I want to show him that I can do this and I've done this because of him. Thank <laughs> you.